Howdy folks, Grizz here with a special edition of Grizz's Gun Guard Garage. Now, this isn't officially part 8 of the epic gun cart build, but it will be included in it. Because I have been hard at it today. Uh, put two to three hours in sanding and then uh, let the dust settle for an hour or two. And then put in about three hours, three and a half, four, uh, applying nearly a full can of Danish oil after wiping down the pieces. And let me show you how it turned out with this uh, fluorescent light. Hopefully you can really get an idea of the beauty of this wood. God made some really beautiful wood. All I did was uh, hoard it for 25, 30 years and cut it up and put it together in this part. So let's take a look and see what we have. Over here on the drill press we have the dowel for the uh, rifle retainer and the dividers where the butt stocks go and the little stop block over on the stack of junk on the router table we have the lid to the box which of course will be covered with a padded seat uh, we have the see if we can get this over there we have the little uh, swilling drink caddy and we have the possibles box which as you can tell right now it's uh, upside down because that was the way that seemed to make sense to me at the time after putting the Danish oil on it. I am not a fan of that poplar. It, uh, it's interesting, but it's, I don't know, it, it's a good wood to paint. I never thought I would say that, but anyway, it, it's interesting. It'll be good. Over here, hanging from uh, the back garage door support is the the handlebars and as you can see that walnut really has some interesting figure uh, not a huge fan of the poplar dowel for the the handle but that's okay and then the outsides again some nice dark grain in there and then on to the uprights I hope you can see the figure in that, I think that is cherry, but that is just beautiful. Let's see if I can tip that up to catch a little bit more light. Yeah, I hope you can see that. That is just beautiful. And then, as before, have some curly maple on the little crossbars going up uh, up at the top where the rifle rest is the barrel rest that is going to be a shame to cover up with a cushion but you really kind of need something up there so uh, just a cushion between the uh, the walnut pieces and then over here we have the lower tray and as you can see <coughs> excuse me more of that curly maple and that flame curly maple figure just kind of jumps out at you it is beautiful that Danish oil even on the cheap old recycled plywood I use for the bottom made it actually look good so anyway I think that is just about it for this edition uh, doesn't seem like six or seven hours, but uh, it was. So have probably two more coats of the oil. The next coat will be uh, wet sanding, just to get a little bit, uh, fill in the pores, and get a little smoother and more glossy surface. And as you can see on the end piece, that actually you won't see unless you're pushing the cart that is so figured it uh, 
really absorb the oil kind of unevenly. But I love that uh, that figure. Anyway, that's it for today. And I hope you enjoyed this special edition of Grizz's Gun Cart Garage. Say goodnight, Mickey. Good night, Mickey. Howdy folks, Grizz here, and it's February 14th. Uh, that date is supposed to mean something to me for some reason. I don't know what it is. I, it must be Gun Carter's Finishes Day out of, you know, the Greek or the Latin or whatever. Anyway, today, this year is a Saturday, so I am going to do a little bit of cleaning up. And then start putting things together, putting on hinges, putting on draw catches, and exciting things like that. No time for a video. I'm going to get to it. Back later. Okay, possible box is done. Piano hinge cut to length. Pilot's drilled, screws put in. And around the front, as you can see, we have our draw catches on, and inside we have our little sliding box. So, there we go. Pardon the, the fingerprints in there that I got in finishing, those are just character. I, I may sand those out just to make it perfect. At any rate, the draw catches work well, keep things nice and snug, and I actually had planned to make a template for those, but when I got going on it, I just got going and it worked out pretty well. So of course there will be a padded seat on top of here. Uh, actually at one point during construction I took out some of these boards just to make it a little bit lighter and got to thinking, you know, if... Uh, that padded seat ever, you know, comes off for reupholstery and there's a match in between. Be nice to have it usable. And each of these boards really doesn't add that much weight. Okay, onward and upward. I think uh, next step is either upholstering the top. Oh, you need to get here. Or putting the tray and uprights together. Six one, a half dozen of the other. They all need to be done. Back in a bit. Okay, I should probably say that uh, everything, well, most everything, has had two coats of oil and two coats of wax at this point. As you can see, I have the lower tray uprights, axle, and wheels put together. Uh, there is a 16th inch nylon washer between the tray and each upright, uh, and that also allows for a little bit of slop. I probably could have gone with a wider nylon washer, but it was a little tricky getting it set up. What I did was take uh, one of my file folders, get a washer just with the axle through, not the upright, tape that in place, and then tape that, that uh, file folder in place so that it was lined up when I actually had everything on there and shoved it through. Now I am positioning for the draw catches. I've, as I said before, I kind of uh, wussed out on making a template, so I just hold it in place, mark it with a pencil, mark my holes with a spring-loaded center punch, uh, pre-drill, and put them in. And then the tops, I just put in, hold up high so that they'll be snug, uh, and do the same thing. So... After that, well, we'll just have to see. So, I didn't get them positioned to where it draws it quite as tight as I would have liked. I would have liked that to, to have been solid. But I think that's good enough, given what it is. If you want it really solid, you can use a little stand-up block. Put it in, slide it over to the side, and then that's pretty well solid. 
but it's mainly just to keep that from rocking forward and it will do for that and when you're ready to go just unbuckle those and you can fold up the cart okay oh I'm hung up on a coffee can there there we go okay well onward and upward time to get this off the bench get the handlebars and the drink caddy on and think about upholstering a seat yeah I forgot to take video. Here she is, folks. The only thing left to do is put the the felt, which I have over here. Got that little self stick felt. Put it between the, the barrel rests. You can see I uh, put the red naga hide on top of that carpet, just so it still has some cushion. But so that it ties in with the seat and I think I have enough of the Naga hide left to put the bottom inside of the Possible Bulls box and the sliding tray that's in there but you can see that there now is a throne complete with storage And my first ever upholstery job. And my first real woodworking project in many years. And I am tickled with how it came out. A few more little things. But I am going to take a break and upload some pictures. And probably, maybe even this video. Uh, I'll have an epilogue just to show it all loaded up with guns and everything because that's how it will really shine but I'm just impatient to share it with everybody because I am I am very happy with how it turned out I think it's very functional very beautiful and I am very happy with it. Okay, well, I will do, we'll go ahead and wrap part eight here. I'll do one more short one just showing it all loaded up and kind of going through more of a, hey, look at me, I'm so cool kind of thing. And also maybe going through a few of the things that I learned building it that uh, hopefully I would not do again. But, uh, Hopefully I'll get that out. If not, at least you get to see it all completed. And with it all done. And rolling. And of course, not real good over when you're rolling over lumber. But I think Buick and Calico will be thrilled with it. I know I would. If they don't like it, heck, I'll keep it and uh, do something else for them. Because I think it's just pretty darn cool. Okay, until next time. Or, I hope to see you down the trail. Until then, watch your top knot.